Hello, Susan Heller with Remax Action here in sunny Southwest Florida. Thank you so much for visiting our video blog. The topic of the day, how do I make my offer stand out? So buyers are consistently asking, especially in this multiple offer situation, the inventory today is incredibly low and many buyers are finding they are competing with other buyers for the low inventory. It's an excellent time to be a seller. Quite often, you'll have several offers to choose from. So in working with a buyer, how do we tell them to have their offers stand out among the others? I would say the first and foremost is to present the strongest offer that you possibly can. Now, when we say strong, what initially comes to mind for most sellers and buyers is price. And price is certainly an issue. Price can be the amount of the offer, the actual sale price. It can also be the terms and conditions. If you are asking the seller to pay assistance, this is going to be deducted from the net proceeds that the seller receives. So in essence, an offer with seller assistance is a lower offer than one without. And at the same time, with a cash offer, the seller doesn't have to worry about an appraisal or a mortgage contingency. It's a much more solid, qualified offer. If you are getting financing, always make sure you have a written pre-approval from your lender. And if it's cash, we love to see proof of funds. That would be a bank statement showing that you do have the funds required to purchase the property. Also, if you are getting financing and you are getting an appraisal, you can put a clause in there that the sale is not contingent upon the appraised value. If you are offering an offer with any other contingencies, such as home inspection, you can put in there a clause that has a higher dollar amount for repairs that you're willing to accept. Or you can waive the home inspection contingency entirely if you're comfortable with the condition of the property and you want to make sure you present the highest and best offer in the eyes of the seller. Now, sometimes offers can be very close or similar, and the seller says, Susan, which one do we accept? They're very similar. They're at the asking price. Or both buyers want $1,000 or $5,000 over asking price. Sometimes they're both cash offers. Or they may both have offers that are contingent upon financing. So at what point does the seller decide? Quite often the seller doesn't meet the buyer. And a letter from the buyer can go a long way in the eyes of the seller. For example, Tom and Mary Smith may make an offer to the seller and they say, gee, I noticed you're from Pennsylvania. So are we. We have a lot of friends within the community. We know that you're friends with Don and Jane Smith. And we love the Smiths. We'd love to live in your community and your home is perfect. We also have buyers that have met the seller and they've said, gee, it was such a pleasure meeting you. Kathy and I and our three children would love to be in your home. We love the school district. Our children have friends here. The grandparents live a block away within the community. You may even know them. So quite often, a seller will choose an offer because they like the buyer. They feel a connection with the buyer and they want to see their home go to a buyer who will love and appreciate just as they did. So whenever presenting an offer, all of the terms and conditions matter. Any questions, always call Susan and make it a great day.